What's up everyone? Uh, this is the driving edition of Mistake Monday, um, or it's where we just go over some mistakes that we've made and uh, what we've learned from, help prevent you guys out there to not make the same mistake. So today, first mistake, I wouldn't recommend doing videos while driving. I just don't have much time today, so I'm doing it anyway, but I do not encourage you to do what I'm doing right now. So that's mistake one. Mistake two um, that I kind of want to go over today was kind of knowing the people that you're working with uh, when it comes to JV wholesaling. So this is a mistake that uh, I made when I got first started into wholesaling uh, years ago. Um, I would kind of just, I would either approach people or uh, more often people would approach me to want to JV my wholesale deal to try to sell it quicker and then split the profits 50-50, um, etc. So the thing that, the mistake that I made was I agreed to do business with some people who um, kind of weren't the best ethically um, and that, I mean, that kind of reflects back onto me. Um, when, you know, if, if someone has a bad experience with that other wholesaler that I was working with and they know that I'm on the deal as well, then that's, that's ultimately going to come back to me. Whatever the experience they had with the guys JV and with, um, you know, that experience, they're kind of going to kind of connect it with myself as, as well, um, and especially working in the future deals together. So um, one thing I just kind of wanted to encourage is if anyone's going to ask you to JV a deal, know their background, know how much experience they have. Um, first, know, find out if they actually do have a buyer's list or if they're just trying to piggyback off you um, just to make, you know, a couple bucks because they can't find their own deals right now. Um, you know, there's there's different ways to go about that, but make sure that their, their interests are on the same level as you and uh, their priorities are. So, um, you know, definitely don't want to partner up with someone who has a bad reputation, uh, who's constantly maybe getting in arguments with people over deals um, because they're personally, you know, affected by someone's comments or whatever it may be. Um, you know, it's kind of, it's a short-term partnership, but you want to make sure that it's someone that you would want to work with in the future as well, not just for one deal, uh, for multiple deals, because if you can make it work and it is a good relationship, you know, JV, JV wholesale deals with other people is a great strategy to not only get started, but to sell more properties in the long run as well. Um, and then you guys can kind of bounce contacts off each other, um, work each other's buyers list. So if it's done the right way and it's done with the right intentions, um, wholesaling a property together should lead to more um, short-term partnerships and other opportunities for both of you. If done wrong, um, and getting in business with the wrong people, it's going to not only probably jeopardize the current deal you have, it could jeopardize your reputation and probably either lose a friendship or lose a colleague in the business because you guys probably won't ever want to talk to each other ever again. So um, that's my uh, mistake that I made. Uh, hopefully no one else makes that mistake, especially right now. There's probably a lot of people getting approached to, to JV because properties are selling quick if you can find a good deal and the people who don't have a deal might just want to hop on your back and uh, you know collect a, a, a fee split uh, just for the sake of it so uh, don't make that mistake watch out make good decisions and uh, that's all I've got today have a good Monday